Oh, hello, hello. Hope everyone's well. I'm gonna be um, throwing up yet another Libra build. I don't want to throw it up, but um, people have been asking me to throw chuck this build up, which is my Reaper Humpback with the, obviously the guns on the same side, uh, with an inverter and a trombone. I don't use Reaper builds these days because I have Punishers and. Yeah, I was talking to a comment about this the other day. If you are, because he was, he was debating whether to go for the Reaper Fusion, but what I would say is, if you are planning to get Punishers at any point in the future, then there is no point in wasting coins on a Reaper Fusion. Punishers are just better. They have Reaper DPS with pinpoint accuracy, you know? So, it, Punishers, the main advantage is, say if you have a Reaper, you have to chew through the guy's ca uh, cabin, because the guns are so inaccurate, so you might have to shoot through, you know, four, five, six thousand HP worth of stuff to kill the guy. But as with Punishers, because they're so accurate, every build of the enemies just gets boiled down to the health of its guns. So it is not like a, you can have a four thousand HP Bastion Reaper in front of you, it doesn't really matter what his cab's doing. All you got to do is shoot through two Reapers. So, yeah, Punishers are just better, but... If you are going for Punishers at some point, don't use the Reapers, I would say. Anyway, a few guys have asked for this Reaper build. Um, it's pretty decent. There are... Well, I'll go into the ups and downs of it as, uh, straight away before I show you the build. But the plus side to having two guns on the same uh, side, obviously, is that they are better protected. So what I would say is that this Punisher type is better... No, this Reaper type, sorry is better against enemy Punisher builds, and that's pretty much it, though, to be fair. What I found, you'd think, you know, oh, it's good against, like, Scorpions, for example, but Scorpion players don't really try and shoot the guns off, to be honest. Most of them just see the fact that it's a humpback, get lazy, and try to cabo. So that's tends to what happens with Scorpions. With Punnies, they can't really cabo because it'll take too long. So they do try to go for guns. So if you go if you plan to go up against Punishers, then yeah, run something like this. I would say you'd get slightly better. You still probably lose, to be honest, because the E has Punishers, you have Reapers, <laughs> he has better guns. But uh, this will be better against the uh, the Punishers than a conventional Bastion. Speaking of Bastion, I would still nine times out of ten run a conventional Bastion Reaper. Preferably with a trombone. Um, I have the inverter on this one, but don't necessarily need it. What I would say is that if you do have fused reapers, you don't need the averter on the bastion. The only reason I put an averter on this is so that the second reaper isn't a one shot for scopes. So, in case you're not aware, scorpions do 560 damage. So, if you have a dura fuse, which I have on one of them, it will take three scope bullets as opposed to two. As individual scope guns now, not like salvos. So it'll take three bullets instead of two, whereas normal one will just take two, so you can technically get one shotted by a scope. And uh, but I've attached the inverter to this one, so that's why I run over it with it. But I would still recommend running this in nine out of ten situations. You'll be slightly weaker against punishers, but against scorpions, which are very meta against typhoons, against dogs, you know, pretty much most other things, you either. You can just rely on the Bastion Cab for most of the damage, but even if a Scorp is shooting at you, these guns, because of the Bastion Plow, it is easier for them, no, sorry, it's harder for them to land a shot than it would be to just hit the cabin of um, of this thing. Because if you run this against a Scorpion, then they can't cab it, so they can't go lazy, so they really have to focus on their aim, and it puts the onus, it puts the onus on them to make a mistake. So, and the odds of them missing your guns are pretty good. Anyway, that's a rant over with. Um, I should also say before I show this build that there are two things about this build that I really love. I love that I could I was able to build it this way. It's really nice. But the fact that it's not symmetrical drives me crazy. I hate building uh, non-symmetrical builds. I hate running non-symmetrical builds. Mostly because they just look so damn ugly. And they just look stupid in my opinion. This is still a very good build, don't get me wrong. Even against um, 
Scorpion's focus. I'll show you why it's pretty good against Scorps, but I would still say the Bastion is better. Um, yeah, it's still very good build though. It's, it will do good against Dog, it will do good against Punnies. It should lose against Punnies, but it'll still do good. It'll do good against pretty much everything. And then you get the um, the Trombone Heat in, and you get the Humpback Perk, of course. I think it's about 4.5k with the Trombone. Let's find out. Yeah, 4.5k with a trombone, you get potentially 30% from the humpback, but you're looking close to 5.7, 6k DPS, which is very good. Uh, so yeah, I'll go through the build now, and I'll just talk about random stuff. Dun, 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 dun. The way first. Okay, first thing about a build that I like is that you have the 1x8 going through the center, so the Reapers go around this 1x8, which means that if for whatever reason you happen to get that shot off, you wouldn't lose all three legs. You still have that as a fallback piece, basically, which I really like. And this part, you don't have to worry because that's attached straight to the cap. Yeah, normally with builds, I guess the uh, the one side that's not on the cabin would be very that's what, yeah, weak because of the frames, because you need to extend them so far out, so it's very important they don't get shot off, but, you know, say if someone did take that off by any chance, nice fallback piece, you still have all your legs. I like that. Um, something's changed, I don't know what. Okay, second. Best thing about this build, which I do actually like, this is just gun mount. Don't pay much attention to this. I will remember to put this on Exib after I um do this video. I promise I always forget this shit. But the inverter is attached to the humpback and it is attached to both reapers. So this is the only build where I've actually been able to do that. And I absolutely love it, which means that your humpback gets 25% damage resist, roughly, uh, which is, and it's got about 3.5k health, so you're looking at four and a bit. Yeah, four and a bit. The Reaper's baseline, so you have 520 health, again, 25% damage resist, say we're 130 health. It's about, this is probably about around 650, this is around 700, because it's got a dual refuse, and as you can see, they shoot around the 1 by 8 so they don't get interrupted by it. One by kind of acts as some weird armor in a way. But it's just a really nice, really nice spot. I really like that I was able to do that. When I first figured that out, I was so happy. I don't know, I might be just like the saddest builder guy in this game, but I don't I get really excited building these things. When I find new stuff out like this, it just yeah. It's exciting. Pity the build isn't more pity is some Reapers. I wish Reapers were better. But I just I don't need to run them. Right, we'll do the uh, the spaced armor and the plows next. So I have changed this. I did upload some PvP highlights of this build um, a month or two ago, something like that. And I've changed it this morning because at first the front armor was designed to deal with how I thought Scorps and Typhoons acted, mostly Scorps. But now that I actually know how they operate and how they work I've, uh, I've changed it so in case you're wondering a scorpion will deal 280 damage to every single square within seven squares so a scorpion salvo if you will will deal 560 to everything within seven squares which means that pieces like the right elbow and the the gun mount yeah are very important for dealing with scorpions. They're pretty much crucial. The reason for this is they have, uh, well, they have shoot through. So they, they take 10% of the damage that is dealt on. So say if you shot this with 100 damage, it would take 10 of it 
and the other 90 would go behind into the next piece, basically. So why is it important for scopes is, if a scorpion bullet hits this, it will deal the failure solution with one scorpion bullet from one gun. It'll deal uh, 280 damage, so 28 of it will be absorbed, leaving it on 10 durability left. But then the remaining damage will go into thin air, so it'll go into the next 7 squares, but because there's nothing in these 7 squares, nothing gets damaged. You could put armor pieces right behind this, the, the heaviest armor pieces in the game, they would get destroyed, nothing would survive. If it's below 280 health, it would get destroyed. So because it absorbs the first bullet and the damage goes through and nothing happens from the first bullet, the second bullet also gets hit by this and finishes it off. But it does the same thing. It goes into the next seven squares and because there's nothing here, it dies. Which means that you can shoot a salvo, two scorpions at this, at this piece alone. It will hit this piece, kill it, but then it won't hit that piece. It will just go into the next seven squares of blank A. And it's pretty really good and same with these there's um the devs put these at 29 dura for a reason because if you shoot a scope at it it will deal 280 28 of it gets absorbed so this will be on one hp and then it'll take the second scope bullet before it dies so it's really good so you can just count the squares so one two three four five six there's about eight one two three four five six seven so it doesn't get hit on the cab so you have three pockets so one, two, three, before you get to the cabin. So if that's if you're shooting at them from the front of with typhoons and scorpions. Plus you have you know good armor from the train plows and whatnot. Uh, you can also just have some mountain really. It's nothing important. Good old trombone. I would say that trombones are a necessity on every Reaper build these days. Just because their damage is very lackluster without it. You need a radar for trombones in case you're not aware. Just an armor. Really like this piece as well. Helps with firing angles. Gives you some armor. It doesn't have much change. And this is a point where he just gets to the really stupid armor in pieces because the build isn't symmetrical. Eighty pieces, yeah. I, there's no point in me talking through the armor pieces. It's just you know what armor is at this point. So yeah, as you can see, the um, the majority of the armor is spaced more towards the cabin, obviously, because this is where you will take most of your damage. This is very light, and it doesn't need to be any heavier. Um, most of the time, when you're fighting a player, you will be angling the armor something like, somewhat like this, so that you're taking most of the damage on the right and the cab protect the angle of the guns obviously um important thing when you're fighting punishers is that the angles on these guns are locked so they will always shoot uh which is very important on a reaper obviously but you can lock the angles in so what you do is you have a scorp oh, scorpion so you have a punisher player in front of it or scorpion player anyone really so you lock your guns right so you aim as far right as you can hold on the trigger and then you kind of 
aim as best you can onto the guy's cabin while locking the guns on right. So most players would just do it like this and just sit in front of the guy. But no, you want to keep that angle as tight as you can. Because now it's going to be really hard for Punishers, well not really hard, but it's going to be harder for Punishers and Scorps to land a shot on your guns because they have to go for all this stuff. So if you're in front of a guy, don't just sit right in his face. If this is the enemy, don't sit like that. Just try and angle it like that. Would be my best advice. It is really important you keep the damage off your guns. That's the whole point of the build. Um, I won't upload any PvP of... Oh, do I? God, I need to know why. I'll do one PvP. Screw it. I don't like uploading uh, games of Reaper PvP because you were literally just walking towards the gate. <laughs> oh, they did actually change the car name to V-Bucks, Jesus Christ. I just got my audio turned way down, I need to turn up. I turn it down because the, the music in the garage is just obnoxiously loud. So yeah, I'm gonna play this little stupid and just charge at the guys just to show what the build can do. That's how I tend to do most PvP matches. I think it's best, personally. Right, there's a guy right here, what are you doing there? Okay, don't charge that stupid in cotton wool, so I just dish empty the people. I'm crippled, why are you still shooting me? I'll do one more. That's kind of crap. Can they nerf trombones already? I just shot the guy from across the map by looking at him for half a second.
shot. Okay, yeah. Sure. Alright, anyway, here's a build. It does pretty decent in my opinion. Like I said, I would still recommend the, the Bastion trombone for most situations, but against Punishers and other things like that. It's I'm shitting on this, but I'm just it is a good build and it will do good work, but I would recommend the Bastion. From what I've seen from what I've used. Yeah. Just because you have so much damage to this and you force the other guy to shoot at your guns. It's incredible just how lazy Scorpion players get at times. Where they just auto aim on the car because they... Especially if they run trombone, you know, they're doing like 11, 60 damage a shot. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, I might check up a video later actually as well. Because I was playing Levy Wars last night. And... Uh, what was it? I can't remember. I think it's nice. Oh no. Anyway, I stripped an entire levy, pretty much all of his guns. I don't think anyone else shot at his guns for me. All 60 MG worth of guns. And I got 560 points out of there, which was the lowest of the round. And I just thought that was pretty hysterical. The fact that you could strip so many weapons and get zero points out of it, essentially. Anyway, yeah, I'll chuck it up at some point, just so you guys can see. I just thought it was funny. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it works out. And uh, yeah, I'll put the build on next video.